Now that it's extra cold out, many are probably looking to warm up their car before they hit the road. But environmental experts say idling wastes both fuel and money. Channel 3's Melissa Cooney joins us live to tell us more about it. Morning, Alyssa and John. That's right. Environmental experts say that especially if you have a newer car, you really don't need to warm it up before you get in. They say that oftentimes newer cars warm up better when they're on the road. So really, you can just get in your car in the morning and you can hit the road. Vermont's Department of Environmental Conservation says if every car and truck reduced idling by one minute per day a year, the state would save over one million gallons of fuel and millions of dollars of fuel costs. Some ways environmental experts say you can reduce idling is by turning off your car if you're stopped in a parking spot for more than 10 seconds and warming up your vehicle while you're on the road. The main thing is to combat this idea that it's necessary to idle your car. Um, to kind of warm it up, especially in the winter months. Um, for most cars on the road, it's, it's not necessary. And actually, it can be harmful to the car itself. So you're having more wear and tear on the engine that isn't really needed. There is a state law limiting all motor vehicle idling to five minutes in any 60-minute period, with some exceptions. Penalties range from 10 to $100 violations, depending on the amount of times you're caught. Although the state notes it is hard to enforce. The DMV tells us from 2014 to 2023, there were 23 violations for idling more than five minutes in a 60 minute period. And different municipalities in the state have different levels for idling in some senses too. For example, in Burlington, you're only allowed to idle for three minutes in a 60 minute period. I reached out to Burlington officials. They say they've issued one idling citation in the year 2023. Live in South Burlington, Melissa Cooney, Channel for This Morning.